It's Kamala Harris's 60th birthday. At this Oakland restaurant, her childhood friends have gathered to show their support for her presidential campaign and to reminisce. The first day I met her, got in our MG, my MG, drove to San Francisco and just rode up and down the hills. I mean, we had the best day ever. From then on, we have been like this. Born in Oakland to immigrant parents, Kamala Harris spent part of her childhood in Berkeley. That's where Carol Porter met her in the early 70s. I would go up and wait for Kamala to get her hair done because we were catching the bus or walking to school. The area was shaped by activism, home to members of the Black Panthers and Maya Angelou. Harris's mother, who conducted cancer research at UC Berkeley, was no stranger to protests either. She would go up to UC Berkeley. She was on the front lines, and as Kamala's described, that you know she would bring her daughters with her. It showed her that she can be whoever she wants to be, and she is the person that, that does, decides that. For her childhood friend, it is that upbringing and those values that she would carry with her to the White House. I know where she was raised. I know the values and beliefs and principles that guide her, and I know they're very true and they're very honorable. Harris went on to study political science, economics, and law. She returned to the region, this time across the bay in San Francisco, where she quickly made a name for herself, becoming the city's first female district attorney. She suggested, okay, for low-level crimes and, and drug offenses, why don't uh, we have people um, take some education courses, and that program proved to be a success, and recidivism rates went down in this pilot program. It was copied, uh, it was later copied by uh, President Obama and, and, got, and went nationally. But Harris's track record was sometimes progressive, sometimes old school, making her hard to grasp for voters. People don't really know who she is. Um, and I think there's part of her is that there's a cautiousness, an inherent cautiousness of it. Part of it is being a first, first black woman, first uh, Southeast Asian woman to, uh, to hold these top law enforcement jobs. And she very much bristles at being called cautious. She says, no, I'm doing things by the book. Harris later served as attorney general, then U.S. Senator for California, a state that will almost certainly back her this election day.